discover the enigmatic charms of Colombia beyond the stereotype. Welcome, fellow explorers, to a journey through the captivating landscapes and vibrant culture of a country often misunderstood. Colombia, a land with a territorial expanse five times larger than Ecuador, holds within its borders a tapestry of diversity, from its illustrious soccer history to the shadows cast by the notorious Pablo Escobar. It beckons travelers with promises of a lively nightlife and breathtaking nature. Yet, behind the veil of stereotypes lies a nation yearning for happiness, grappling with the consequences of its sizable population, reaching 52 million souls over an expanse of 1,000 square kilometers. The second most populous country in South America after Brazil. In the intricate dance of development, the pursuit of joy intertwines with challenges, pushing some into the world of crime and others into the often misunderstood profession of prostitution. The tale of Colombia echoes through time, reaching back to the era preceding the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors in the Americas. Indigenous tribes once thrived in the regions now known as Colombia, creating a mosaic of cultures. The footprints of explorers such as Alonso de Ojeda and Juan de la Cosa marked the landscape in 1499, setting the stage for a series of exploratory expeditions that culminated in the foundation of Colombia's first city, Santa Maria in 1525. Cartagena followed suit in 1533. The 19th century witnessed the stirrings of independence as regions constituting New Granada rebelled against Spanish rule in 1810. The ensuing struggle, initially led by figures like Antonio Nerino and Camilo Torres Tenorio, eventually found its heroes in Simón Bolívar and Francisco de Paula Santander. The climactic Battle of Boyaca in 1819 marked the birth of a free Colombia. In 1800, the Gran Colombia emerged, encompassing territories that now belong to Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, and Ecuador. Over time, these nations diverged, becoming four independent entities. Political power oscillated between the conservative and liberal parties, igniting a prolonged civil war fueled by their rivalry. The year 1948 witnessed the Bogotazo, a series of riots sparked by the assassination of a liberal leader, claiming thousands of lives. Despite a subsequent power-sharing agreement between liberals and conservatives, former liberal militants birthed the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia FARC, in 1964. The 1980s saw a significant expansion of production in Colombia, making it the world's leading producer with 79% of global production concentrated within its borders. This period coincided with the rise of drug cartels and insurgent movements like the National Liberation Army ELN and the 19th of April movement M19, further complicating the civil conflict. As the 20th century unfolded, Colombia grappled with the complexities of its economic and social fabric. Cities like Medellin, once infamous for being the world's most dangerous, underwent a remarkable transformation. A cityscape reminiscent of Hong Kong nestled in a relatively small area of 382 square kilometers now houses nearly 3 million inhabitants. The construction of towering, multifaceted buildings reflects the city's determination to shed its dark past. Medellin, a city that was once a stronghold of drug cartels, has emerged as Colombia's most sought-after tourist destination. Travelers are drawn to its unique history, seeking to trace the footsteps of Pablo Escobar, the founder of the Medellin cartel. Despite its dark past, Medellin has undergone a renewal, shedding its negative image. Once avoided streets have transformed into tourist hotspots adorned with street art and vibrant murals. One of the standout areas is Comuna 13, where life in Medellin blossoms, capturing the essence of a resilient community. It has become one of the most photographed locations in the country, offering a place where visitors can authentically connect with the Colombian people. Medellin's warm embrace extends to its visitors, making it a welcoming city. When seeking relief from the heat, tourists flock to bustling shopping malls. The city's popularity as a tourist destination is also amplified by the considerable devaluation of the Colombian peso against the U.S. dollar, making it an attractive choice for international travelers. In the tapestry of Colombian cities, Bogota, the capital, stands as a bustling metropolis with a population of 7 million. Nestled between mountains at an altitude of 2,650 meters above sea level, the city exudes a metropolitan vibe. It is a central hub for education, attracting those who wish to study in the country's universities. The cost of living in Colombia is juxtaposed against a backdrop of vibrant street markets and unique local practices. It is common to encounter street vendors and performers contributing to the lively urban atmosphere. Street artists dance and entertain at traffic signals, adding a colorful touch to the cityscape. This vibrant street life is a testament to the resilience and creativity of the Colombian people. 
Colombia, often dubbed the Thailand of South America, boasts affordable meals and lively nightlife. Want to work online? Access the link in the description and find out how to get started this year. Don't waste any more time. Start changing your life working from home. However, the country grapples with a high unemployment rate. Street vendors are a common sight and the cost of a frozen lemonade, for instance, is 3,000 Colombian pesos in urban areas. Street performers, akin to those in many Brazilian cities, engage in various activities, including offering to clean car windshields for a modest fee. A prolonged gaze of more than five seconds invites their approach and interactions with locals are generally warm and welcoming. Colombian authorities rarely intervene in such interpersonal interactions, emphasizing a relaxed approach to personal relationships. The unspoken reality is that prostitution is liberally practiced in the country, with police interventions primarily focused on those involved in drug trafficking rather than interpersonal relationships. Those seeking more authentic connections are encouraged to embrace the dance, as Latin rhythms serve as a primary means of connection among Colombians. Music echoes through the streets until dawn, and people are always immersed in dance. In essence, the minimum wage in Colombia being below $300, coupled with high unemployment due to population density, leads people to find diverse ways to maintain a reasonable standard of living. In Medellin, money opens doors, and the city is a living example of this phenomenon. The dichotomy of a high unemployment rate and a vibrant street life is striking. The streets are alive with the rhythms of Latin music and Colombians are always ready to share moments with visitors. In summary, when the minimum wage is less than $300 in a country where unemployment is high due to population density, people find various ways to sustain themselves. Money becomes a resource that opens doors and Medellin stands as a testament to this phenomenon. Beyond the urban landscape, natural wonders and unique communities. Colombia's allure extends beyond its urban centers. Approximately two hours by car from Medellin lies the village of Guatapi, a verdant paradise where mountains meet lakes. The standout feature of this region is a colossal rock formation believed to have formed millions of years ago. Climbing to the top requires a fee but rewards visitors with a breathtaking view of the surrounding lake. This picturesque area was transformed into a reservoir in the 1970s, serving as a source of electricity through a dam that powers Colombia. In the villages, peculiar markets come to life. Residents eagerly provide musical accompaniment in these markets, and unique offerings include alligator heads and uncommon fish species said to originate from the Amazon rivers. Want to work online? Access the link in the description and find out how to get started this year. Don't waste any more time. Start changing your life working from home. The financial challenges faced by Colombians are evident in their choice to roll their own cigarettes instead of buying ready-made ones. These hand-rolled cigarettes are crafted by sellers and sold at more affordable prices. Colombians are known for their friendly and welcoming nature, especially in rural areas. Beyond the beaten paths lie hidden treasures, such as the unique and astonishing river of five colors nestled in the depths of the Amazon rainforest. This extraordinary river is distinct for its intensely red-colored water, attributed to the presence of a red plant growing in its bed. Colombians claim this plant is exclusive to the region found nowhere else. Discovered in 1969, it has since been named the River of Five Colors. Intriguingly, Colombia is also home to an isolated island community that defies conventional governance structures. This small island, without formal municipal oversight, is self-governed by its inhabitants, who regulate life based on their own rules. Notably absent are law enforcement agencies, hospitals, or a formal municipal government. Approximately 1,200 people call this island home, leading a life independent of the Colombian mainland. Accessible only by boat, visitors from the mainland are limited to a maximum stay of 10 days. The island's lone accommodation option is a single inn. The islanders sustain themselves through fishing and selling their catch in other regions of Colombia. Although connected to the modern world through the internet, the island lacks basic sanitation facilities. Residents resort to the sea for their physiological needs, posing hygiene concerns and making prolonged habitation impractical. Colombia, a nation often overshadowed by stereotypes, emerges as a tapestry of complexity and resilience. From its historical struggles for independence to the challenges of the drug trade and civil conflict, Colombia has navigated turbulent waters. The vibrancy of its cities, the warmth of its people, and the beauty of its natural wonders paint a picture of a country reclaiming its narrative. Beyond the headlines of crime and drug cartels, Colombia beckons with its rich culture, diverse landscapes, and unique communities. 
As we delve deeper into the fabric of Colombia's story, let us cast aside preconceived notions and embrace the journey to understand a nation that defies simplistic narratives. The dance of progress and tradition of economic realities and cultural richness makes Colombia a captivating destination that invites exploration and appreciation. In the heart of South America, Colombia stands, inviting us to discover the enigmatic charms that lie beyond the stereotypes. Will you heed the call? If you enjoyed this exploration of Colombia, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Check out the latest video on the screen for more intriguing content. Want to work online? Access the link in the description and find out how to get started this year. Don't waste any more time. Start changing your life working from home.